All right, just got to this guy's house. He's got a ton of water damage on in this bedroom and uh, even in the garage. So we're gonna start trying to see where this leak's coming from and open up some of these valves and see if this meter's running. down there okay the thing is i shut the water off okay yesterday in the in the the leaking stops i turned it on use the bathroom above where the room is okay all of a sudden it started leaking again so i'm like okay at least i know where it's leaking and i see you got the meter open is the dial spinning when the water is on that i don't know nice. okay let's yeah. just take a look inside then we sorry about the mess in. everything's been like it's all good thrown all over the place, literally. Oh, Got the dogs up in the bedroom because they're spastic. So this was a, there's still a little water over here. There's a bathroom there. Okay. There's no leak in there. There's no water in there? No here? water whatsoever. Okay. Um, but there's water you can notice like through the cracks obviously we're going to have to redo this floor eventually sure. right. but um i noticed the water predominantly here this is where i noticed it okay i don't know what that means get a little throughout here yeah all right but it's it's not that wet over there i don't know how the floor yeah, I mean it's just sloped. So yeah, like there's still a little water right there. So I've been trying to vacuum it up and and wash. Um, and my garage, is, our storage, is kind of thrown all over the place. Now mm -hmm. thrown even more all over the place. I didn't notice any leaks here. Okay. But I took a picture. Sorry for the mess. Everything is thrown all over the place. It's all good. There's a there's a leak here. Okay. But the thing is, it's it feels like it starts here. That's what I don't understand. So there's water here. Let me take a look over there. Yeah. Water. I shut this off too. Oh, okay. I don't. That's what they told me to do. If you shut the water off. We haven't been in this house that long. No. Let's see. And what, you said you noticed it when you used the water upstairs, though? Well, my, I, my youngest daughter, uh, she has Down syndrome, so sometimes she'll come out here, mm -hmm. make a mess, leave the freezer door open, you know. So when we saw water, we just thought maybe she spilled something. Right. And didn't clean it up. So we're like, okay, no big deal. And then, then I noticed in my daughter's room, in the closet there was water in there so i'm like okay this is this is kind of weird yeah any idea what it might be uh no not yet so what we will have to do is do some kind of leak investigation basically okay um we'll have to see if this meter is running and determine if this is a water line leak or a leak in the waste system it looks like clear water yeah it's probably smell or it's probably a leak a water line leak could be a slab leak could be hundreds of things but more or less we'll have to do a leak investigation go through like a process of elimination all right i just turned this water on let's see about 0 0.7 0 0.1 let's see if that stops The hot's off right now. Check over here. Put the mains on. Got a little repair there. That's leaking. The leak 
think is like in this general area inside. Check this out again. All right, now it's not running. Let's turn the hot on and see. It's not running. Point five eight. Sir, excuse yes. me. One second. I'm just doing a test. Can you just let them know not to turn the water on anywhere? Water's off. Well, no, I turned it back on. No one knows. Yeah, I just don't want them to use it. I just want to see if this meter moves at all yeah, in like yeah, 10 yeah. minutes. You're, you're good. Okay. You're good. You're good. Thanks. There's a lot of water right here. Looks like there might be a stack coming down right there. Let's see if that moves at all. Could be a real slow leak. All right. Now it's at 7.60. I think it was like 10 minutes. So sometimes they don't register, I think, every like 10 minutes or so. So 0.02. So there's a there's a leak somewhere. We'll figure this out. Leg kick, headshot. Oh, yeah, I heard it leaking over here first, like right behind here, and um, yeah, I'll switch it and we'll mess with this toilet if I didn't have to. Uh, it's gonna be addressed another time. Move this couch for me and it's measured and cut this all here. I gotta run through the studs, got the water off it still, spit it out. So yeah, he got lucky. He's gonna have issues here though. I'm just trying to see if this is M. A lot of these houses got yeah, type M. This is all M copper in here, really thin and He's gonna have more issues, but we'll just get this squared away and take it from there.
just was, you know, it's tough when you got that much water. Eventually, am I going to have to re replace all this copper stuff? Well, that's also what I told you we could discuss. I mean, this is type M, which is like a thinner copper. And what you have here is, I think, not the best water quality in this area. Uh, we could test that to check. And, I mean, you already have had multiple pinholes. Like, I don't see that stopping. You know, you can maybe get some kind of water filtration softener system installed to help that. Um, and then you could also, you know, maybe have to consider repiping the house. And what we usually do that with is like a, a newer PEX pipe. It's called plastic piping. So you have to like got this sucker back on. Let's just check over here. You put a clamp around this. We have to come back and fix that. There's like a leak right here, it looks like. But anyways, that's how you do business. We'll be back to fix that another day. So, got kind of lucky on that one. I was able to uh, hear something in that wall and was able to open up just that one spot and see what's going on and then found that pipe leaking. But there was a lot of water, a lot of water in there. So it was a little tough. I wanted to take my time seeing where to start before I started getting into anything. Yeah, we're able to uh, find it luckily and um, yeah, got them all squared away and hopefully he doesn't have any more issues for a little while with that uh, thin copper pipe in there, but we'll see. All right, thanks.